틱톡에서 구독자 수천만 명을 보유한 한 20대가 최근 갑자기 활동을 중단했습니다. 저희 취재 결과 다른 남성과 함께 술에 취한 여성을 성폭행한 혐의로 In the ever evolving world of social media stardom, where one day you're adored by millions and the next you're despised by the masses, the tale of Seo Wan Jong, aka Mama Guy, is nothing short of a roller coaster ride. You may be wondering what he did to garner the hatred from over 55 million people. The internet has provided an avenue for many to get an even platform to attain celebrity status if they wish, and the few who have done so are regarded in high esteem by their followers. But the effect of this popularity is that most of these self-acclaimed celebrity influencers often misguide their followers by portraying a different image than what they are like in the real world. In today's video, we will be looking at Seo Wan Jung who portrayed a different personality online than who he is. Online, Seo Wan Jung is seen as a very relatable personality who mostly tries out DIY videos to prove if it work or not. In the case where it works, he screams Mama in a high-pitched baby-like voice which got him his nickname, Mama Guy. Seo Wan Jung, a TikTok influencer popularly known as Mama Guy, due to his famous videos where he tries trending videos and screams Mama at the end in a high-pitched baby-like voice. Seo Won Jung, a Korean influencer from South Korea, was born on November 19, 1996. He made his debut on TikTok in the year 2020 ever since. His dedication and commitment to his podg brought about much attention, and ever since he has amassed a stunning amount of 55 million followers on TikTok and over 1.5 million on Instagram. Seo Won Jung's popularity did not just in on his social media pages, but rather, he went ahead to garner the attention of one of the most coveted titles sought by many young ones in today's world. Due to the massive amount of followers gathered by SEO Won Jung, it is expected that getting ambassadorship and many more opportunities for the young influencer to express himself is to be expected. Seo Won Jung's influencing career, such a success that the Forbes 30 under 30 in Asia invited him and had him added to the list. He achieved this incredible feat at the age of 27. Achieving this feat opened more doors for him and increased his popularity both on the social platform and away. Seo Won Jung was seen as a very likable and relatable personality by his fans, and they were always eager to hear from him, and he never disappointed and always had something exciting for his fans, and this brought more attention to his page. Every day, he made sure to have something exciting to post on his social media pages. So when he didn't post for months, you can imagine their disappointment when for months there was no post from him. And this got many of his fans worrying and many speculating on what had happened to him to warrant such long absence from his pages. Months later, this young influencer had the internet buzzing in December when he was charged with sexual assault along with his friend whose name was withheld. The identity of this influencer was withheld during the report by SBS and he was referred to as Influencer A, while the victim was referred to as Woman B. The young lady referred to as Woman B reported she was invited out for a drink along with Seo Won Jung and his friend whose name was not mentioned. At the venue where they went for their drinks, Woman B stated that she was cajoled to consume more alcohol than she was comfortable with, and before long she was intoxicated with alcohol and passed out. After she passed out, she was then carried to another apartment, and that was the period she claimed she was raped by Seo Won Jung and his friend. This incident, she reportedly claimed, happened earlier this year in July. Woman B reported she woke up the next morning in a different house than where she claimed they went to for their drinks. After waking up, Woman B felt she had been violated, and she went to the authorities to report the case. On getting there, she wrote her statement and narrated her ordeal to the authorities, after which the police took the needed step and proceeded to go visit Seo Won Jung in his house to get his statement and get him to give a recount of what happened that day. On getting to his place, the reception the police met was not what they were expecting, and that's where the plot twist started. On getting to Seo Won Jung's house, the police knocked on the door, and Seo Won Jung refused to open the door after several minutes of knocking and requesting access for them to come in and search the building. They had to involve the fire service to get access into the building. Seo Won Jung's refusal to open the door and let the police in placed him in a bad light, making him seem guilty of the crime. 
After the firemen got into the room, they apprehended Seo Wan Jong, and all those found in the house during the search were arrested. This incident was what resulted in the media's absence of Seo Wan Jong and had his fans worrying and wondering what happened to him. On December 12th, when the case was made public and a video released, the media tried to keep the identity of those involved secret by using coded names and blurring the videos that were released. But even with the blurred video and hidden name, his fans were able to still identify him in the video, and this clarified the reason for his long absence from his social pages. The video that was released had evidence of Seo Won Jong and his friend sexually assaulting the victim, though they still insisted on being innocent of the crimes levied against them. The evidence seen in the video and his reluctance to cooperate with the authorities and his refusal to open his door. When the authorities first went to his house, all portray him in a dark light, making his claim of being innocent doubtful. In his official statement to the authorities, Seo Won Jong claims the intercourse with the victim was consensual and not an act of rape. Hugh claims the victim was awake while it happened and stands his ground that he is innocent of the crime. Unfortunately for him, that was not the only allegation levied on him. Seo Won Jong is also accused of recording the act without the knowledge and consent of the victim. But this claim has been dropped due to a lack of concrete evidence to back up such allegations levied on him. While this may be his claims, the authorities and judges have not concluded yet as more trials and investigations are expected to be thoroughly done to ensure justice is served and whoever the victim turns out to be gets to have the needed closure they deserve. On December 15th, the case was sent to court for trial and after substantial pieces of evidence were collected, the prosecution of the case began, and those involved are scheduled to have their first trial on January 17, 2024. The young influencer stands the risk of facing seven years in prison if the allegation is proven to be true. One thing that is guaranteed is that the lives of all those involved took a drastic turn that fateful day. What are your thoughts on this case? What would you say happened on that fateful night of July? Well, we get to know more come January 17th, 2024. We will be sure to keep you updated as we follow up on this case, so stay tuned to this channel so you do not miss out on any important updates.